Alright! Oh! Uh, complete with the uh, iconic sound effect. We're back. Oh, yes. Welcome to uh, the Rogueport Sewers. This is our other hub of the game. And. Oh! oh brother. Hug. It's uh, the entire Goomba family tree! This will make this will make for some nice uh, practice. Uh, oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, she's not fooled. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say what you about Gumbella. She's got sass, and I like it. Uh, let's get him. Now it's foul time. <laughs> Yep, the whole family tree! Do, 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 do. Yes, obviously be careful about the spiny Goomba. Obviously jumps are no good. Yeah. We don't have spike shield, won't for a few chapters. Not until the end of chapter 4. That's a long time to wait. On the flip side, we don't get uh, feeling fine until chapter 7. Which is even more of a prick move, but then again, think about how powerful that badge is. Exactly, so... Yeah. So, yep. We... Alright, then. Alright, so let's lead off with uh, Gumbella. Her tablet ability, in terms of action commands, is actually... Yes, she has an action command. Alright, that's all you gotta do. Hmm. Um, yeah, I'm one of those, in case you hadn't noticed. It says here, Goombas are underlings of underlings. That is totally rude! Uh-huh. But, yeah... Compared to Gabario, her tattles are a, a, a lot funnier. They're more colorful. Which is why I like it! Oh, whoop. Ah. Try and get used to the... Try and think of the timing. Anyway, Spiky Goomba! Right? Yeah. What a creative name! Uh, yeah, she really loves bashing enemies. Yeah, well, duh. Alright, then, now we hammer this guy. Hammer walking. And here comes the Paragumba, and. Nice. Much better. Well, then I was trying to remember the timing. Now, Paragumba. I'm just. Yeah, you can't fly. Well, yeah, it's true. Just jump out of it, and it's pretty easy. Come on. There we go. You. And one more will do it. I'll let Mario finish it off. And just like that, ten star points. Nice. Again, I'd always love the victory jingle. Actually, it changes depending on whether or not uh, your partner is still alive at the end of the battle. Yeah, it actually, it actually becomes a bit more uh, bland if your partner is um, unconscious. <laughs> ah, yes, the first strike. Okay. And by the way, in terms of first strikes, you, you can actually time it just right. You know, when you get to battle, you don't just you don't just you don't just do a, just an initial point of damage. You can even do an action command for the first strike. Nice. So yeah, if you're going against a solitary Goomba, do a first strike, and if you time it right, you can instantly KO it. <laughs> Alright then. Further down to the sewers, we ran into more Goombas. It didn't drop anything. Not yet, anyway. Come on. Get, get out of here. I want to hammer you. There we go. There we go. Coin! And what's in here? Mushroom! Nom, 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 nom. Yep, we got our first actual item. Yeah, pretty much, uh... Unlike uh, Paper Mario, you can actually use your items in the menu. Not You don't have to press the D-pad to make them come up. Which is a, which is a good thing, actually. And a Fire Flower! 
Ah, bam, bam. So what's the hint right here? Oh, wow. That's a big speech. And a big block. We're gonna need a super hammer for that. Well, nowhere to go but there. Yep, just because, yeah, and keep in mind that little, uh, place right there. Then again, there's also another area we can explore. There was a, there was a doorway to the left of the entrance to the sewers. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt to fully investigate. Besides, uh, oh look at it, there's a cracked wall. We'll need our a bomb party member for that. Aw, oh, that guy down there, um, you can trade star pieces to him for, uh, badges. Mm. And I believe, yeah, in that house is, uh, well, believe it or not, it's an old friend. It's Merlevy. Well, hey. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, we meet again. Uh, but again, I never need to use your services. Besides, I'd rather save my coins anyway. So yeah, her, Burley, and uh, um, Merlin are actually um, all in this game. We'll, we'll be running into the two of that. We'll be running into the latter two uh, a bit later. Hmm. We need the bomb. Yeah, that. Yeah, that's not gonna be for a long while. Anyway, now we can go back down this pipe. <laughs> Yeah, they actually had the sound effect right this time. Compared to uh, Paper Mario, where it didn't sound quite right. Okie dokie. <laughs> I like that. Like, see it? Did you see the professor twirling around like that? I'm trying to be stylish. I guess so. Well, it just proves the old man still got it. Let's see. Uh, oh! Mm, that's not, that guy's not relevant until uh, chapter 2. Anyway, we gotta do enemy. Oh, yeah, three HP this time. This one. Well, it's a good thing you didn't instantly kill him. Yeah. There we go. Spinia. Totally weird creature made of thin papery boards. Let's see. Yeah, nobody knows much about these creatures, actually. Three HP, attack power one. Yeah, give it a. Or just give it a, a whack. Bam. Whoom! And just like that, three star points. Yeah, pretty much just like before, for any new encounters, I'll just leave the, the battles in. And then for any other relevant fights, I'll leave those in too. Oh, look at that! He's got an item on him. Yes, enemies can now have items attached to them. Yes, he had to time it right, Mario. He do like a belly flop to the ground. I wanted to. Yep, he used the item. No, it, it wouldn't have mattered anyway. He would have used it anyway. Rip! And hip hop. Well, that was easy. Bye bye. Yeah, you can definitely tell that's on Super Mario World jingle. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at it, there's a key up there. And, uh, oh. Have a switch. Honk. And a very fake looking section of wall. That's not relevant until chapter two. Or do you see the end of it? Alright, jumping up here. Yup. Does remind me a bit of Mario 64. Woo! <laughs> yeah, Mario does lots of voice bites when he's jumping or stuff like that. Anyway. So, what's in here? It's a rather ominous looking black chest. Uh-oh. Yeah, I can hear you. Huh? Right. Oh, that sucks. I mean, seriously. Locked inside that kind of a, locked inside a chest like that for a very long time. That really must suck. 
Uh, you too, Professor? I have a strange feeling about this thing as well. Uh. Oh, drat. <laughs> you can't help it, you're Mr. Exposition! Uh, uh, well, then again, Mario already is a hero. Mm. Oh, the key? Well, I just I already picked up a key. Well, hmm. <laughs> of course it does. Don't worry, I got the key right here. All right, hold on. I'll get you out. What? Thank you. Take nothing. Oh, he? Huh? What? Oh crap! That was unexpected. What? Uh, an evil, terrible curse? Gee! Uh... Ah! So, what is this curse? I don't get it. Well, let's find out what it is. Uh, oh! Oh, I see! Uh... <laughs> Uh, I don't think you understand that this curse is actually helpful. Uh, thanks? Right. Okay. Alright, th alright, let's test why it. Whoop! Oh, just like, uh, the cape in Super Mario World. Huh. Except that you will lose, um, you will lose, uh, altitude. Still. Mm. It's just a matter of trying to get the best out of your, your glide. Yes, I get it. It's terrible. M might return to normal. Actually, yes, we will. Uh, thanks. Uh, wow. <laughs> I don't know. We'll probably never know. Moving on. Weird. Oh, well, then again, it's a Mario game. Expect weird to happen about 90% of the time. Yep, a little demonstration. Rip! And now we reach our destination. The Thousand Year Door itself. Yes, I can see it. It's a big friggin' door. <sighs> um, of course they're all true. Like I said before, fairy tales and the like in RPGs tend to be real. Yup. Huh? Well, I don't see I don't see any harm in standing on top of it. Like so. Whoa! Uh. Ooh, shiny! Huh? Um, how do you know? Oh. Hello! So, yes, this is how we'll find. The seven crystal stars. Every time we bring the map in front of the door, and after we grab a crystal star, we need to come back here to get our next destination on the map. This is how we get it. Right here. The map actually updates. Fantastic. Hmm. Say, so, hey, we're going to a castle. And like I said, it's pretty much like a compass, telling us exactly where to go. 
And now we can use special moves! Yes. Yeah, every crystal star gets us a new move. <laughs> the map itself gives us a um, sweet treat. Huh. Sweet treat allows you to recover HP and FP for both Mario and his partners. Ah. It also cures status effects. <laughs> so yeah, it's Which is helpful given that they've locked the badge. Well, yeah. Well, what do you mean lock the badge? You mean up till chapter 7? Basically locked it away for half the game. Well, three quarters. Oh, yeah. Technically. Anyway. So, yep, now we have a clear destination to go to. Again, I love Frankly Steve. <laughs> well, of course. Yeah, what's known as a special move. Mm. And yep, yeah, soon we're about to be introduced to this game's newest mechanic. Well, something is better explained by example rather than words. I couldn't agree more, Professor. Sure thing. Ah, uh, why not? Well, then again, we need a, an actual example instead of just being told about it. All right then. This time, frankly, will be our opponent. Also, we have Toads and a Hammer Brother in the audience. Yes, audience. This is our newest mechanic. This is how we recover star power. Pretty much we have to appeal to the crowd. Not to mention that the stage itself actually changes every 10 levels. Alright then, so let's use Sweet Treat. And of course, every special move has its own unique uh, action command. Here's Sweet Treat! You gotta try to aim for the HP and FP marks, but try to avoid the Poison Mushrooms. If you hit, if you hit the Poison Mushrooms, you're stalled for a while. Like so. Only for like a few seconds. And for that, we recover 4 HP for Mario, 6 for Goombella, and 7 Flower Points. So, how do we recover Star Power? Simple! We need to appeal to the crowd. We can do this two ways, actually. By successfully performing action commands, as well as doing stylish moves. And, or we can also use um, appeal under strategies. Yeah. That's why the audience is there. Okay. Here we go. See, we got a little bit of star power. Yeah, pretty much the, the more, more audience you've got, the more you get from each uh, sweet move. Yep. So, like so. We get more star power. And of course, the more we appeal to the crowd, the more audience members we get. Oh yes, also notice on the right-hand side of the screen. Mm -hmm. Not, oh yeah. Al also the lower left. Audience members right down there. Uh huh. Also, look up there on the upper right. Shine sprites. Yep, we it, it, basically we'll get either shine sprites, poison shrooms, mushrooms, flowers, or stars. If we manage, if we manage to get three in a row, do the action commands. We get um, not only a full audience, but also a bonus associated with those icons. For example, this is what we get when we get three shine sprites. Bingo! Full recovery and. A full audience. But of course, since it's a slot machine, it's gonna, it's gonna require luck. Luck and timing. Obviously, Shine Sprites recover you, your, all your stuff to full. Mushrooms recover HP, Flowers recover FP, Stars rec recover Star Power. Poison Mushrooms, however, they more or less reduce your stuff by half, if I recall. Yep, you guys use Appeal. And that's all you need to know about um, Star Power. Oh, one more thing. Keep an eye on the audience as well. Keep me tossing at you. Uh oh. Oh, but they don't always hit you with items. 
Sometimes they'll give you good items. That's why you gotta press X for those. <laughs> Sweet justice! But yeah, just keep an eye on what items they throw at you. Yeah, like coins or even you know, healing items. Okay, here is my scintillated electron special moves. Yeah, let's do that. So, overall, what do you think of this whole new mechanic? Interesting. <laughs> and yet you call it gimmicky. It is gimmicky, but it's pretty good. Yeah. It, a place called the Petal Meadows. Oh, Vast Metal lies far to the east of Rogueport. And... Really? Uh... Huh. Oh yeah, there's actually a warp pipe in the, Ro in the Rogueport sewers that'll help us get there. Yep. Of course, we're gonna need our new paper airplane ability to get there. Yeah, pipe travel's efficient! As long as the pipes don't get clogged. Uh, I got it from Princess Peach. Yes, she did. Yeah, see, the thing was in a chest it can only be opened by a pure heart. Oh. There is no heart purer in the Mushroom Kingdom than Peach. Uh -huh. Oh, so she visited Frankly beforehand. So after she got the map. Huh. Right. You dumb blonde. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, if she went there. So, yeah, she sent the map in advance, and um, what else went off ahead of us? Well, uh, um, yeah, you do so. Hmm. Mm, yeah, your your best. Uh, it's best you just stick to your office, more or less. Yeah. This is practically his office. Yes, we are. On we oh. go. Oh, by the way, if you, if you if you ever want to, if you ever fail to tattle certain enemies that are one time only. Uh, that yellow wastebasket is where you can find the towels that you missed out on. Huh. Yeah. And now we got our first badge. Power Smash. Oh, yeah. Another thing about badges. There's no longer any upgrades to badges. You don't want to upgrade the badges? You got to stack them. Hmm. All right. And, of course, you know, just for the sake of the audience, got to have a refresher course on this. But yeah, pretty much, for example, if you have two Power Smash badges, you get you have to use more FP, but then again, your damage will increase. It couldn't be simpler, actually. Uh, yeah, that applies to, like, say, Power Smash, Power Jump, and Quake Hammer, and Multi Bounce. That's why, that's why you can buy multiple badges. That's why you can buy badges, as well as sell them. Mm-hmm. So you can stack them. Yep, I got it. I think now we can actually go to the bat shop. Let's see. Yep. Quick power smash. There we go. Alright, then. Oh, wait. I think I may have to sell an item. I only got one coin down there, if I recall. Don't worry, that, that big chest, we will not get that until the end of Chapter 6. Anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, not yet. No contact lens yet. Besides, the, the west side of Rogueport is, well... Yeah, some lots of goodies there that we can't access, obviously. Not yet. But yeah, here's what I mentioned before. Uh, the point system. Yep, for each purchase... Oh, by the way... You can actually get emails in this game, and um, certain emails will get, let you know about certain shops that will allow you to get double points for every item. Hmm. I took advantage of this once. 
No, I got it. And said the rewards are well worth it. Oh yes. All right. Uh, I'm gonna sell. I want to sell something. I want to sell the fire flower. All I need is just 52 coins. No, I'm good. All right, then. Let's see, look, look at these rewards we can get. Look at that. It's Those gold bars are worth a lot. Mm -hmm. Up to 300 coins, if I recall. A glowing mysterious layer in the city? It smells like treasure, people! Mm. And graffiti corner. I saw Mario get pickpocketed. I guess even superstars can be taken to the cleaners. I wonder how many coins that fat cat has on them anyway. The housekeeping Goomba. Yes, yeah, to make a habit of checking out the the bulletin board on occasion. Yeah, you missed the graffiti corner in the last game. <laughs> oh well, th but that's because I didn't know of, it, of its existence. <laughs> but now I do. All right, now it's open. Welcome to the lovely house of badges. Run by mousers. Or squeaks, technically. Also, look at his uh, look at her tail. That's <laughs> cute. For manager, she sure has gone for the store a lot. Hmm, probably on errands. Yeah, and this guy loves to shout as well. This guy. Hmm. He really wants to open his own bat shop someday. Yeah, I think he's yeah he's need to learn the business. Talk about motivation. <laughs> yep, he's shouting. Uh. Do you know the concept of indoor voices? Yeah, like I said, anything that's on the shelf, or counter technically, you can get for a discounted price. What we have in stock? Well, what, is, what else does he have in stock? Others. Power jump, FP drain, simplifier, and unsimplifier. Yeah, obviously the simplifier and unsimplifier. Pretty much, it changes how, how much star power you can get, or how hard it is to get action commands. Hmm. Yeah, last stand stuff, but no, I want the piercing blow. Only one BP. All right then. And with that, let's equip our new badge. And now we're gonna head down to the sewers. After we save, of course. Yep. Okie dokie. So, well, of course, uh, the way to pedal battles is not going to be easy because there will be a mini boss we got to fight. <laughs> Here we are. Okay. We gotta go now. Oh yeah, now we can now we can start trading star pieces to to that guy. Hmm. Uh, yep, dazzle. So, what is your inventory like? Okay, I'll do it. Alright, let's see what you got, little fella. We have attack effects Y, chill out, pretty lucky, happy flower, happy heart, happy heart, partner, item hog, horror fighter, flower fighter, peekaboo, quick change! So lame. Yes, we get quick change this early. Very nice. However, like I said before, 7 BP! That's just mean. I do I do grab it early, though. Because, well, I want quick change as soon as possible. In fact, in this run, I do prioritize badge points over HP and FP. So it's like I have more variety in my battle performance. Mm. Oh, boy. Hi, blooper. Always advise you to do something, doesn't it? A what? You could jump at it, but you totally ruin your shoes. I just ha I'd just hammer it. Uh-oh. That hurt! Eh? What's going on here? Uh... Whoa! Oh, great. He's on the ceiling! Um... Me? <laughs> Someone with some serious boxy. What? Oh... Mm. Uh oh.
Oh, I don't want it! Yeah, I do remember. Yeah, if I wanted to, I could have you take the hit for me. Alright then. Okay, left. Let's see, what are we gonna do? Let's, uh, hammer! <laughs> Basically, the tentacles have 3 HP, and if you knock down the tentacles, you'll be able to, uh, well, you'll be able to make sure you'll be able to target the blooper. Hey, mustache! Yeah. Uh, what? Uh, the ew! No, I ran a bloop! Uh, you got this punk. I, I didn't catch it last time, so yeah. I didn't catch that the, the way I actually played it. You know, you call me a gunless punk. There we go. Now we tattle. Hmm. And yep. And I really super humongous one too. Ew! <laughs> uh, don't. Definitely gross. 12 HP, attack power 1. Yep, and it's attack time! Yep. Did I? <laughs> yeah. Well, of course, of course! Oh! Ow! Like I said, it's difficult to do. And watch this! Woo! Move! Sorry, right, this guy won't last that long. But again, be careful. Be careful. To get, be careful. To get two poison shrooms. Fortunately, we don't. Because seriously, poison shrooms are the worst bonus you can get. Because it's not a bonus at all. Hey, Ko. What are start points? Well, the toads are happy. Of course. We got rid of the, the squid monster. Blue. Ah, convenient platforms. And this is how we get the pedal meadows. And thus ends the prologue. Ah. Alright, <laughs> let's do this. That was funny. That was funny, just drowned. Yeah. Ah. And so begins. Chapter 1 Castle and Dragon uh -huh. Yes, we gotta fight a dragon. Hmm. <laughs> like this tune already. Right. And from here on out, our adventure truly begins. Do 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 do. <laughs> I agree. I'm getting psyched. This right then. Should be fun. First, we get a mushroom and a star piece, and we save. With that, we'll see you guys in part three for the proper start of chapter one. Mm-hmm. So yep. Like I said, we're gonna fight a dragon. This should be amusing. Actually, yeah, it will be. 